guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Stephanie again from CastleWalkinsLiving.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these super cute anthropology inspired planters. And I am joining Shauna over at SatoriDesignForLiving.com. She's having a outdoor extravaganza. And every Thursday, we're sharing some outdoor ideas for the summer and today we're all sharing some flower and plant inspired projects so if you want to see some more of these cool products be sure to help on over to my blog and you can see all the other ideas that were shared today to start your planters you'll need to begin with your lightest paint pen and then start making some polka dots in various sizes these are going to serve as the base for your flowers as well as for some of the little frills and swirlies that you're going to put on these planters. Once you've covered your planter with the lightest color, then you want to repeat some of these polka dots and frills with your second lightest color. I'm going to then continue adding some more shapes using my pink color and don't feel like you have to stay with the polka dots you can add additional flower shapes I'm going to start adding these three leaflets to create a different shape of my flower but you can also use the paint pen to create a daisy look by using five little polka dots around in a circle you can also add a different type of flower shape by using either single petals or triple petals like you see here. I want to use the blue now to add some details to the flowers I've already added. I can also use the blue to add some stems. And it's very funky and cute to add some of these stem details and maybe some fo um, foliage in a non-traditional color. I mean, if you add some things like the leaves in blue rather than green. You can get that nice little abstract look and more modern planter. However, if you look at the other two, you can kind of see that I did add a little bit of green details around the flowers of the other two planters. Since I'm using the same colors for all three of these planters, I do have that cohesive look. So if I do gather them together, I have a nice collection that I've created. And now I'm going to finish up with my bold orange color and I really love this vibrant color for the summer. It has that nice tone. I mean I always think about orange when I'm thinking about summer colors and, and vibrancies. It, it, it's a color that looks great with greens as well as the pinks and blues. And don't be afraid to layer on your paint pen colors to create a multicolored effect as well. Once your planters are dry, you can spray it with a sealant that is compatible for being outdoors or if you're planning to keep them indoors, I would just add maybe a layer of sealant in the spray form or you can add a layer of Mod Podge if you have that handy. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little project and are ready to kick off the summery vibes. If you want to again see more of some of these projects for the summer, head on over to CastleWalkinsLiving.com. You can also find me on social media under Castle Walkins Blog.